Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I built these hexagonal floating wall shelves. I started off with six individual six foot one by four inch boards. My primary method of cutting the panels in this project was the miter saw set to cut at a 30 degree angle. It will cut a clean, accurate, repeatable 30 degree bevel just like this one. When lining up the blade, make sure it is on the outside of the line so you are not taking off too much material. I started by cutting a 30 degree bevel on one side, then measured off this point. The objective here is to create six individual trapezoidal pieces that will eventually join to make the hexagon. Repeat this process of cutting and measuring six times for each hexagon you plan on making. If you do not have access to a miter saw, you can use a circular saw. Adjust the angle to 30 degrees and make the cross cuts. Just make sure you're flipping the piece around so you're making the trapezoid shape. The shelf I'm making has five hexagons, so I cut out 38 inch pieces. That eight inch measure is across the bottom of the trapezoid. To assemble the hexagons, line up six pieces top down so that the long ends are touching end to end. I taped each piece together with two pieces of painter's tape. Once each piece is taped together, I flipped it over exposing the interlocking angles of each piece. I coated each end with a thick layer of wood glue, spread it out evenly, then slowly brought each piece together, forming the hexagon. I wanted to add more clamping pressure, so when I went to go rip off another piece, this one completely came apart. Solution to this is to lay the hexagon down on its side when wrapping it again or just putting one long piece down the whole thing before turning it over to glue. I repeated this same process five times. I wanted two of the hexagons to have intermediate shelves within them, so I measured across the middle of one of the hexagons to get the cross length of the piece to be cut. I cut this cross piece with two 30 degree cuts on either end so that it would line up right in the interior angles of the hexagon. I applied wood glue to either end and slid the piece right into place. I let each piece dry for about an hour in direct sunlight, plenty of time for the glue to set and dry. After that, I took all of the tape off that was clamping all the pieces together. Not all the joints were perfectly aligned. Some gaps were more noticeable than others. But to clean these edges up, I took some sawdust and wood glue and filled in the exposed cracks. Working it into the open cracks with just my fingers seemed to work best to fill them up. Once the fill-ins had dried up, I took 80 grit and 120 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander and sanded each individual piece. I did use a flat file to reach the interior corners that my sander could not reach. With five freshly sanded hexagons, I took them to a flat surface where I shuffled them around until I found those that fit best together in the pattern that I wanted to create. I temporarily held them in place with squeeze clamps. I started gluing the edges together, being generous with the amounts of glue. I spread the layer of glue evenly across both surfaces. I used two to three squeeze clamps to hold the joining edges together while the glue dried. I repeated this step with each adjoining surface. I knew there wasn't going to be any serious weight put on these shelves, so that is why I opted out of using screws, dowels, or brad nails. Plus, it just looks that much cleaner without them. Mm -hmm. 
I took a wet paper towel and wiped away as much squeeze out glue that I could. Then let them dry. Once the glue had set, I removed the squeeze clamps and once again went back over the whole front side and filled in any gaps or spaces with the sawdust and wood glue combo just to cover up any imperfections. Once my fill-ins had dried up, I went over the whole front face again with 120 grit sandpaper. I was really deliberate and slow here so that I could ensure an even plane and some really clean joints. Now it's time for the finish. I decided to use Simple Finish by Maker Brand. It gave the pine boards a nice natural finish. The best part about the Simple Finish is just how easy it is to use. Apply one layer over the whole piece, let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, then apply another second coat. Wait another 10 to 15 minutes and wipe away any excess, and you're done. I really love the way these shelves came out in the end. I built them for my girlfriend. She had the design inspiration for these, so shout out to her. A great piece for an open wall. I'm a big fan of the decor she used on these as well. All I used to mount these onto the wall were two 90 degree L brackets screwed into the studs. I hope you enjoyed following along with my build today. If you haven't already, be sure to check out some other bedroom projects of mine. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. That way you never miss out on a tall guy DIY video. Thanks. Until next time, I'm Mike on tall guy DIY.